So I thought I'd do a little discussion on a sermon on goodness or a philosophy, if you will, teaching on goodness. Hopefully this has you feeling great in your place of life. And to those that don't feel the best, hopefully this inspires them or doesn't make them feel as bad. I chose to be out here in nature as it will suit this video. Now, it doesn't matter how open or loving or peaceful you attempt to be. People can only see and meet you as deeply as they have seen or met themselves. So this also goes with understanding what's within their own self. So no one is better than anyone. The only thing that others see is what they see within, the mirror of the self, mirror to the soul. They will either be joyful, disgusted, ashamed, or inspired. Now, usually when people talk about the self, they're usually talking about their desires, their strengths and weaknesses, their emotions. But really, we're just space and consciousness, a mathematical mind that is projecting and manifesting now, the very act of self-judgment is you comparing yourself to other people, to a religious figure, or to a mythological figure. If it was just you alone and you were, say, out in nature with no outside influences at all for your entire life, which would be impossible because you have to be raised. Now, in this case, you would just be self. You wouldn't recognize right from wrong as these are human constructs that were formed out of a society. Sorry about the wind. Now you can't stop consciousness or evolution. They go hand in hand. There's no evil in evolution. It's just a learning. There's only success and defects. It's the production or manifestation of evolution, which is the goal of the mechanism to contribute to the growth of their species and indeed evolution itself. Consciousness is the real being trapped in or forgot it's in its own experiences. Nothing is accidental. Now this means that every action, whether it be a mistake or not, is a part of learning and growth. What we define as good might be considered evil or bad to someone else or somewhere else in the world, as these are still human constructs. When a gang of chimpanzees raid a gorilla's camp and then eat their children, is this evil or is this just nature? A product of nature contributing to the experiences that contribute to evolution and awareness and in this case through pain. A lot of human actions of what we consider good and bad and what we do in result was first observed in nature and in the animals and indeed life and death itself as life becomes more aware so do higher states of consciousness that we experience as love and understanding grows through this awareness so do higher actions of compassion reasoning and contributing to the growth of said the species and indeed life itself as the goal of a mechanism or the individual or the species is to contribute to its entire species and evolution itself as we are the experience learning itself now this is what it means to be god that god is all around you and within you this also means that we're going forwards not backwards as a mistake is just you making a step forward and learning so this is contributing to your learning and growth this is why out of the darkness can come the greatest light and light and darkness are just two sides of the same coin duality now simply by being out in nature and observing it and even meditating and asking questions asking yourself through meditation and answering it trying to contribute to your own answers can reflect deeper questions and deeper answers Nature can teach us so much, as can your own mind going within, understanding yourself, reasoning with yourself, contributing to your own growth. Now, this meaning to be more aware. Now, if you notice the present, people will tell you to be in the present. The present will always change. It's a new time. 
we're always moving forward. So not to hate the experiences that shaped you, but to learn from them is the goal of this discussion. And I hope you enjoyed this discussion and one reason I chose to be out here to discuss it. So have a lovely day, a lovely night, as you are a miracle. Many blessings.